due to the nature of bank feeds, you'll need to go to MyOBS Command Center and MyOBS website to get started and connect your MyOBS software with your relevant bank account. Now for the purposes of this exercise, we're going to assume that you've already done that and we're going to uh, work through how to map transactions and so on, create rules, and we're going to use the dummy data files. So if you can go to the file open menu and we'll choose no here to back up our Joe's plumbing. We'll go into the samples folder AU and whatever version you're using and we're going to choose the Clearwater standard file and click open. We'll click OK there if it brings up a warning and go to banking and then we'll click on bank feeds. So using the bank feeds, what's happened is Commonwealth Bank and Mild, by me giving them permission, Mild has pulled down the date, the description, the amounts, and whether it's a withdrawal deposit. In this case here, this refund for $23. Now, Mild has also picked up here that we've entered a negative sale for that amount. So we can simply approve that. Let's look down at, say, the electricity bill again Mob's picked up that we've possibly already entered the bill and has matched the amount, the date, uh, and possibly the, the memo description. So we'll approve those two. What that's done, that's saved me going into Mob and entering a purchase pay bills to enter that. So it just saves you checking those items off. Now in the case of rules, let's see this amount here, Telestar. Let's say that, my, uh, again, Mob doesn't know what to do with it. And we've just set up this new, say, telephone account and internet account with this supplier. What we could do, we could enter it as a one-off thing through new and just do a spend money. So in the card, for example, we, we'd have to go through and create a card called Telestar. So when I go new, note it didn't pick that up, so I'll have to hit new type in Telestar to add that supplier in and post it uh, to whatever expense I account I want. So let's say it's going to go down to say 6221 uh, and we're looking for a telephone there. There's telephone 62190 with GST on it. So that's a one-off entry where I had to add the card and manually choose the expense account. The beauty with rules is we can teach it the memo and we don't have to keep doing this each month. So here we have industrial cleaning, but rather than putting it through as a spend money, we're going to create what's called transaction rule. Now for this particular rule, if we have that word, um, industrial cleaning supplies, exactly in the memo, so assuming they always use the same term, or we could go for more uh, optional one like any of, um, but that's a bit more dangerous um, to get the match. I'm going to go for that exact description. I'm going to put it to office supplies. So let's say 61180 office supplies. And up the top here, I could only apply that rule, say, to an individual credit card or to all bank accounts. So anything with the description industrial cleaning will automatically apply the rule to post it to office cleaning. And I'll approve that and go, yes, I recognize that as a valid expense. So that's setting up a rule. Click close. Let's have a look at our bank register. Now you will need to check that date range for that transaction. Now the, uh, the industrial cleaning, I think we did that as 4th of December 2014 in this dummy data file and there you can see it's come through as a withdrawal for $71 by using that rule. So we didn't have to enter that, it's automatically been keyed into MyOB, automatically the tax code and so on, saving us a lot of time.